Welcome back everybody to another video on CSS Grid. Today we are going to see how to nest two grid within each other and how to center. So, in my case, uh, we have here the code, we have our backdrop on top of our UI, and we are going to add the model of uh, the logging form. So, I'm going to create a model element. This is not implemented yet. Um, within uh, my Firefox uh, version, uh, but you can find some implementation of the model. For me, it's going to default into a div. So here is going to be my login model, for instance, and we are going to give him, there we go, we are going to give him a background color of yellow. So you can see the model goes at the bottom. And we are going to grid area on top of everything. Now you can see it's not really yellow, because it is behind our backdrop. So here we need to actually z index it and say this one is two, I'm not sure which one I used for the other one, but two is fine. And now we want to center it. So we are going to uh, display it to be a grid. So it's going to be display grid, then we are going to give him um, columns and rows. Grid template columns, let's say 300 pixel, two columns of 300 pixel and one row of 100 pixel. So if I save this, you can see now I have my model here um, with my two columns, my one row, but it takes the whole page because I defined it to be on the whole grid with my grid area here. So what I can do is I can say, place content and this is the way to center a whole grid so if i go back to my browser now you can see that if i have this here it adds some margins on top and on the left to make sure your grid itself is centered but in our case as we define the background color we don't really want to use the the whole grid centering what we want is we want to center just the item. And this is really simple. You just say place self. And now we are centered and it's just this item which is centered. If you want to center all item within a grid, this will be place items. And this will center all items within the grid. So if I save this, you can see my login model is no, now centered within that grid, that uh, cell, sorry. But of course, the whole grid takes the whole page, so it's not something we want. So here we go back and this is place self. There we go. So in the next video, we are going to see what is the implicit grids, what happens when you overflow um, your grid template, what you define in your columns and rows, and how to deal with it. I hope to see you there. Cheers.